<laughs> I've bought this for 30 of your new British pounds. Look, it's a golf trolley. And what I'm going to try and do is take it apart and uh, fit the motor and that to me. Mark 1 Carp Porter. I'm going to leave the two wheels on it. And if you have a look at the shape of it, where I can take it apart, which is there and there. I'm going to uh, try and fit it to the carp porter like that. So we'll do a few of these things stitched together. Right, let's go and carry on. Right, taking the front wheel off of it. The only problem I'm going to have is getting the wiring back out of the handle. So it's all coming apart quite easily. It even comes with its own toolkit to take it apart. So now it's a case of undoing all the wiring, really. Let's see how that goes. Haha! -ha. Right, job done. Taken apart all that scrap. Taking the handle off with the switches on it, which is going to be the only problem I can see. Trying to fit that onto on, onto the um, onto the barra. Let's uh, cut it off. Cut it off somewhere there. And just stick it on. <laughs> May have to lengthen the wires. That was the hardest bit, trying to get them back through the frame. Um, but all done. Took about 20 25 minutes using the tools that were supplied, which would have been easy if I'd have bothered to go down and get the socket set out of the car. Uh, so, fabrication the top two bars. I might just be able to cut V's out of them and bend them up and fit them straight into me. Um, fit them straight into the uh, cart port. It's the Mark One one, so the, it's really old. <laughs> it's got to be nearly 20 years old, I should imagine. Um, so we'll see if it works out. If I have to pay someone to do ten to do some welding on it, it's not going to be too much, is it? If it don't work, I haven't lost a lot of money. 30 quid drop of petrol going to get it in some time and hopefully we'll see what happens right yeah stitch this one on all right back to the barra I couldn't find anybody in the area to do any welding for me uh, so it means I'll have to bolt it together which not the best idea because it is a bit flimsy uh, so this is all I've done that's obviously straight off the barra push them in they do go in it's just it's being a bugger there we go I've connected them on the bottom bolted it to the bottom there but it, that's the that's the only bit that holds it holds it tall it's a bit of flat and it actually twists so I'm going to bolt this across there at some point I might find somebody to weld it and then I can take all the crappy bolts out because they're about to come loose as you're walking down the bank and they fall apart now you can see how much it flexes by that look. it just flexes and it flexes the axle if you push it too much so Still onwards and upwards. I 
bolt piece to go around and take some more photographs or another bit of video. <laughs> Did you know there was a Facebook group? If you're trying to make your own cart barrow, eh, neither did I until my mate told me about it. Right, <laughs> there it is. It's ready to, nearly ready to plug on. It was just a good. If I'd have had a welder, it would have taken two minutes. There you can see it's all, all bolted together. There's Allen bolts going through there. It is a bit sturdier now because it was really flimsy because it was only by this one bit of flat and it was all twisting but that's tightened it all up. So I'm just got to buy some, a fuse holder to replace that glass one there which I managed to blow. Oh, where's my phone? I'm trying to move it. That was what I made it out of, that one. That bit there, just cut it off perfect shape and then just put them in like I say if I'd have had a welder weld there weld there would have been done but no couldn't find anybody drill holes measure once cut twice drill holes three times make holes bigger because they still don't fit break clamps try and hold it all together yeah so when I get it all together now I'll uh, I'll show you. This is actually part of it. That this is the purpose-made battery tray. So it's it's all in one thing. Look, I had to cut a tiny little bit of the plastic out and cut the end of the bolt off to make it all fit. But it's nearly all done. I joined the uh, that cart that carp barrow group because I took the wires out of that I did a diagram but I didn't put which way up the diagram was so I didn't know which way these wires were round and luckily enough a lovely chap on that how to convert your barrow told me which way they went <laughs> so nearly finished nearly finished right Carrying on a bit with this. There we go. That's what it looks like. Battery's fitting. Battery's fitting where it did originally. My bucket's going to drop through there and not get caught on it. Just sorting out the handle now. I'm going to need to do a little bit of soldering. Um, just to extend two wires. Because I moved the, the on off switch. It was there on the original one. Uh, obviously I'm going to have to resin it or something to stop the water getting in. And the other thing is, is the module, uh, I think I'm going to end up putting that in a plastic, a waterproof tub or something, just stick, put suckers on it, so it just stays, so I can take it on and off. But, um, yeah, it's coming on, it's taking its time to wait for a fuse holder, and then I bought the wrong one. Great big thing, uh, but yeah, nearly there, nearly there. What is it doing? There? Maiden voyage of the Barra. See what happens. I've only tied it on there because I don't want it to be on there all the time. Strapped up the control box underneath there. All ready to go. Let's see what happens.